Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the Tactical Trader at thetechtrader.com. These are the charts for the day. It's May the 15th, Tuesday. And uh, I'm going to show you some longs and shorts today. On the longs, one of our swing trades, Amlin, just doing fantastic. Another $1.65 higher, 6.4%. His volume was a hefty 6.8.6 million. That's the best in a month. And new highs here. This stock could, uh, if it accelerates through this line here, or right near it, could explode into the low 30s. Up next, CSOD. Cornerstone on demand had a big, big pop today. 269 or 14.7%. Volume was the best in about two and a half months. And um, it looks to me like, despite the fact it looks like just a snapback, it did move back above the 50 day moving average and close there. Now we'll see if the prior channel here acts as resistance on any further upside. But should it get up through 216065, I believe we're going to see 22 and a half and then beyond. An example of some of the ultra shorts that are doing great here, the EDZ, which took out trend line, uh, excuse me, lateral price resistance at this double top, and the base, kind of a rounding bottom, the declining top sign, which goes way back, and first line of lateral resistance. Now this zone of resistance was tested right to the top, and it closed in just short of it, with a high today at 16.95, close 16.77. Of 40 cents, but more importantly, continuing the advance of the last two weeks. A move through here, we very well see the stock near 19 short term. That depends on the market, of course. Another ultra short, the FAZ, quadruple bottom down here, triple bottom, and then a retest. Breakout occurred yesterday, a little bit of a fall through today. Next key resistance, 26 and three quarters, may be tested shortly, and we'll see what happens then. If it gets to that, look for something in the 29.30 range. And finally, the UVXY, which um, when I say finally in the ultra short area, big downtrend line taken out yesterday, followed through to the 50 today. And if you get any kind of further movement, look for a test of 21 and a half three quarters, my short term target. Moving back to uh, equities, uh, regular equities, we have um, glue, which um, you can see has snapped back from the recent pullback low, which pierced this line, but reversed that day to go from 385 to 422. Follow through today up to 490. There's some resistance at this line here and above that at 515 or so. But my next target is $6. Patrick, one of our swing trades, acting very well today, jumped 89 cents or 7%. Volume was a light, 159 thousand um, but it was the best in three sessions and it is a lightly traded stock anyway so HP still looking for a move up and through this to get to uh, 17 and a half and then 22 those are my targets low price Sunesis took a little pop today it moved out above this wedge pattern you can see and maybe to re uh, able to retest the 315 17 zone with a secondary target around 350. Um, beyond that, we can have a, a real big move into the four range short term. <clears throat> VOXX had a spectacular day and popped 222 or 19%, 870,000, the best volume I've seen all year. We could very well get a follow through if we take out 14 and a half, uh, which may happen tomorrow, depending on the market, of course. This stock could run into the 16 17 zone. Now, on the short side, box of shorts. We'll look at APAGF. Can you believe this stock it has absolutely been thrashed and continues to go down with, with thrust? Today's $4.34 or 17% loss on nearly a million shares was kind of climactic after a big drop from the, the 88 range all the way down to 20 in the last three months. You can see how this stock may have spiked down today and could very well snap back. So, advise you may want to think about covering shorts down here. Coach. Well, this pattern has been slowly breaking, but when it cracked here, then formed this rising wedge, we indicated we thought it could roll over. Certainly has done that with a crack, and then another rollover today to test support at the bottom of the channel and a lateral resistance and support in this 66 and a half range. Next target, however, if it continues, is 63 and a half. Freeport McNamara, which broke down in here, and then consolidated up around the 39 range where we indicated it was a 
possible short. It's dropped down to 32. And today, took out this double support line here at the pullback lows from October, December. This may very well crack and test the October lows here at 28.59. First solar continues to get thrashed, dipping down to $15.15 .15 today. You can see how the declining channel is in force, but starting to become near oversold enough where any further damage on towards 14 or so may be a point at which we see some snapback. Completely oversold at this point. Gardner Denver, GDI, after this head and shoulders here, the breakdown and snapback, the rising wedge here was an indication of potentially lower prices. It then came down, bear flag came down, bear wedged, and came down again before snapping back to the resistance at the declining top sign of moving average. Here, a rollover, retest and bounce, and then a breakdown below this line occurred today, which could lead to 54.55 short term. Great Northern, wow, all I have to say is wow. A massive crack here, followed by a beautiful textbook bear wedge. A strong rollover, took it from 103 down to high 50s. A short, quick snap back to the low 70s, and then another pullback forming another bear wedge. If this goes any f further, we could very well see this come down to test the high 40s towards 50. Home Depot is cracked. You can see the long rising channel here was broken. Secondary uh, price support was broke, broken after a little micro bear flag formed in here. And now a sharp down move today. This stock gets any further damage below 46. We can see the stock in the low 40s. Helmer campaigns rolling over as well. The, the pattern off the top here broke down and kept stair stepping lower until finally today cracked support here. It may very well see the stock in the mid 30s before it's over. Look for a test in the high 30s first. Joy Global, after the breakdown here and the little bear flag and then this bear wedge, this continues to go down and down hard. Last week's crack of the 69.70 zone led to this dip down towards 60 today, and we may very well t test the October lows around 57. Schnitzer Steel, also rolled over, took out this support level last week, snapped back to it, excuse me, last month, snapped back to it, and then rolled over hard today. Down another dollar fifty-six or four and a half percent. We're testing the October lows as we speak. No telling how far down this one goes, but it is not looking good. STZ, another uh, boxer swing trade short, cracked, and then we saw the bear flag form at which point we recommended a short twenty-one and a half area down to nineteen and about to crack support. Could drop into the sixteen seventeen zone. And lastly is Valiant Pharmaceuticals, which we put out this weekend. Sharp move down, a rising wedge, and then yesterday cracked. Today it's following through. I'm looking for a move down at 46. That's it for the charts of the day, both long and short. It's a lousy market out there. Be careful, folks.